Welcome back, you guys, to another video. Today, we are back at it with another CJ So Cool video. This time, it's um his Say Cheese interview with what he said during um his time with Say Cheese, saying he's not a cheater. He know he cheated before, but he's not a cheater. So <clears throat> the title doesn't make sense to me. But um, we're gonna see what he says because I'm I'm interested in what this is really about and what he really thinks of what he's doing. So, now you know, researching your name on YouTube, um, there's always different people. Your name's in headlines a lot about cheating. Yeah. Um, a lot of that is, is hearsay, but a lot of that people come up with results and screenshots. Yeah. What do you have to say about that? Because you are a family man, but then there are outsiders who like to put like who like to paint this picture that you are, you know, you like to be in, in DMs and, you know, mess around on your girl. What I gotta say about that is and this is I'm gonna speak on YouTube first and I'm gonna speak on the world as in general. When you have a YouTube family channel or a YouTube relationship channel. I don't want anyone from this day forward to think that just because you see it so perfectly, that that's what it really is behind the scenes. But video is just that. It's chopped and edited. It's what we want you to see. In real life, it's a lot different. I'm not saying we're arguing and we're going through, but I am saying that, yeah, sometimes I make mistakes. Players mess up. I mean, what can I say? I have cheated and I've gotten caught. I'm not good at cheating because I don't do it. When I finally decided to cheat on my girl, I got freaking blasted. So that was in 2019, I believe, the last time I actually cheated and got caught, and I know I did it, and I, I haven't done it anymore. Mm -hmm. So the Young Blue party, we went to Blue's party. Me and uh, we, it's Kebo took me there. It's all Kebo fault. Everybody that's looking at me <laughs> and they saying I'm, I'm all it, blame Kebo, okay? He giving me knowledge on they money, didn't even record but he's Kevo. also bringing me around these they people recorded you. that want a clout check. <laughs> so the more recent stuff, because like I said, I'm already owning up to my mistakes. I cheated on my girl, but my girl knows me in real life. So she's not a commenter or a fan looking in from the outside going, hey, man, why you cheating, man? She know me. We've done things together, and she know all me. So really, in real life, have I really cheated on my girl? No, because everything that's in real life. Cool about it's just when the blogs get it, my girl, she okay. gets way, way more hurt about it because now everyone's looking at her like this. So and that's a nice excuse. Am I a cheater? No. But is everything in my relationship perfect? Hell no. Nowhere near. I'm raising three kids that ain't mine. Sometimes I really wake up and I go, I need a better situation. I'm just being honest. I mean, that has nothing to do with YouTube. It's just sometimes that's how it is. You know, as a real human being, I look at myself sometimes and I go, why are you simping? Why? Like, I mean, why? There's no need. My only reason for it all is because the way we came into the situation together. Mm. We both started at ground zero. We elevated here. So that's the only reason I haven't left her. If I would have left her, I wouldn't be considered a cheater because I would have left her. But then if I leave her, I'm considered the dog who took advantage of royalty and her kids. So now I'm in a situation based off the fans. So that's, what ha that's why your life gets messed up. You're living your life for other people. Now I'm living my life for me. Royalty's cool with it. Okay. Royalty knew about the party. She seen everything that was going on. She really didn't care until the blogs got it. When the blogs got it, I had to make a post saying I got dumped. She unfollowed me. She took me out of her bio. I was really affected by it. I'm like, okay, you really know me and you're still going to do this for the internet? So I did it for the internet. And then I made it bigger than what it should have been. But hey, that's life. Now going into the whole world, don't you kids or you adults or you teenagers look at me and say, no, nah, my family is perfect. You're lying. Don't lie to yourself. No one is perfect. <sighs> God didn't make us that way. We all make mistakes. Females do. Men do. All I got to say is royalty's never cheated on me. Thank God. But I've cheated on my girl. Yeah, I've done that. But that's because of the situation I'm in. I'm freaking rich as heck. 
Sometimes I'm outside and I see something I want. That's just how it is. But that's why I don't go nowhere. She got such a tight leash on me, man. If I even told you some of the things, you would be like, what? For instance, the reason why one of the blog, one of the blogs just posted something about some rapper chick feeling all on me. And it got the DMs in it like you just said, right? Royalties DMing her on my behalf of my page because she has my password, my login on her phone. So I'm in Atlanta and she's in Vegas, but she's seeing everything I'm doing. Most men ain't going to tell you that because they ain't giving that girl nothing. Mm -hmm. My girl got my password to my phone. She got five phones with my iCloud in it. She got my Instagram, all of my dog's Instagram. She has everything. So if it was really that detrimental, she would have already left. She would have already blasted me. She would have been in the blogs. She sees everything I do. And I don't even think that's fair on my behalf. Because I'm like I said, I'm Michael Jordan on the team. You Scotty Pippen. Scotty Damn, Pippen, we bro. all know where he was getting paid. While Michael was getting 33, Scotty was living off that same first year contract. So it's like, how am I getting well, treated like that. a kid? That's what I specifically said to one of the girls in the DM. How am I getting treated like the kid when I'm the freaking boss? He shouldn't have said that. So if, if most of these men was going through what I'm going through, they would be eager to cheat. If your girl was going through your every DMs, through your every text message, my girl will text me the stuff I'm saying as I'm saying it. Do you know how that makes me feel? I mean, I really be feeling like a kid sometimes. Like, damn, man, my mom caught me. I shouldn't feel like that. And you know what that does, Kevo told me? It lowers my energy, which this lowers my stock. Everything has something to do with your energy. It can lower your stock or raise your stock. Which is why when I'm hanging around high energy people, I'm climbing more. And more people are going to talk trash, but that's just more money in the bag. So, I can only imagine the oh temptation you go through. I know so many models and my. artists and people with, with, with status, they be in your DMs trying to fuck <sighs> with you. And as a human, like you said, sometimes you are going to you know, you slip take up. the bait. Yeah. yeah. You know, when you were all over the blogs this week, you know, from Say Cheese to the Shade Room and, you know, what, what was the feedback like? From royalty or the fans? The fans. I'm going to tell you like this. The fans are more interested in drama than they are in entertainment that I'm providing for them on the daily for free. Of course. Once the drama headlines kick in, all my stock rises. So I'm, not, I'm never going to put myself in drama on purpose, but it's funny how that works. So my feedback that I'm getting is free exposure. I mean, literally, the shade room, they charge people to post them, right? They didn't ask for my permission. They just took it and ran with it. That's free promo. Some people are going to hate on me, but some people are going to look at me and say, he wasn't doing nothing. Like, I really wasn't doing anything. How am I standing at a party and I get accused of cheating? It's a party. It's not a sex fest. No one was doing anything inappropriate. I mean, the girls that came and started dancing, we standing there, right? This is, this is how they catch you. They don't record the beginning. They record the end. We're just standing there chilling, doing us, letting the sun shine on these diamonds. And these girls came out of nowhere, started dancing. You know, they twerking. And I'm like, excuse me, we standing here. The girl literally waves me off while her friend's still recording. Now that makes it to the blogs. CJ so cool, whispers in girl ear. Yeah, I'm telling her to get the fuck out of my way. She them taking all the damn attention. Now they went from looking at my diamonds to looking at us, check her ass. I don't even know her. Now it, it, it just gets blown out of proportion. So a lot of things you guys oh hear and see, gosh. you shouldn't really run with it because it's not always true. Like I said, in 2019, yeah, I messed up. But the party? Standing at a party? Come on, man. Bruh. Oh, my gosh. You should become an actor. That was funny. That was real funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wow, um, um, I don't know what I can really say, um, that was interesting, he called his girl Scotty Pippen, he called her Scotty Pippen, he shouldn't have done that, he shouldn't have done that, and then he said he cheated, but he's not a cheater. He's really animated, though. I can tell you that. He's really, really animated. Um, I don't know. I, I can't. 
I can't see how somebody could have that mindset. But wow, but anyways, um if you guys liked the video, if you didn't like the video, if you guys don't like what he said or agree with what he said, leave a comment. Um let me know what you guys think. Um yeah, for for a guy I watch, I, I never knew like this was the other side behind the camera, and this is how you really felt. But kind of opened my eyes up a little bit that people are a little different than what they are. But I I should have expected that. But um, yeah, and we out. That's that's about it. I see you guys in the next one. Peace.